Trust me, Sean D. Well, today we're going to be doing a little casting. We need to uh, cast another one of our filter bases here. Uh, this is for this product right here that we sell. This has an in and an out, and it also has a relief or a return, I should say. Relief valve is here, and the return goes back down to the pan, and your oil pressure is actually regulated in this housing, which is good for race cars. Anyway, we're going to be casting this, and this is another little piece we use. We cast this particular item up here, and we cut these down to make them for uh, Volkswagen so we can stick them down the bore and stick them in the head. That makes it very quick to center on the milling machine. So we're going to show you how this is done. Well, I'm going to start by putting some release compound on the uh, parts, and this is what you use old gym socks for. And actually what we're using here is some plaster of Paris. We just need something to come in here and make it so that the sand will release when we go to pull the top off of our mold. This is what you can do with the old smell of gym socks before you throw them away. Make sure that your parts are in the middle here and not touching the sides or anything. And what I do is just kind of lightly pack the sand around the edges so that I know that I have some room between the pattern and the edge of the flask. And again, you want to pack around the edges here. As you can see, our flask is kind of crudely made with just some boards, but it seems to work well. And it would certainly be nice to have one made out of metal, but for what little casting we have to do here at the shop, this works pretty well. The sand should be able to hold it like that and it should hold its shape. Unfortunately, we're doing this outside and our sand is right next to a uh, tree, so we get occasional leaves in here. If you don't have one of these tampers, you can uh, make something up. It's not that hard to do. I just happened to be in a shop one day and found this one here, so I said, I need that.
Alright, now it's important on this particular side of the flask that you have sand all the way to the top because we're going to flip this over and tamp it from the other side, fill it up with sand. We've got an aluminum plate in here that separates the top and the bottom half. use a piece of metal here to strike off the top and make it so that it's nice and flat. You have to have a piece of metal under this because if you don't, when you go to smack the other side, it will knock all this out. That's not so good. on the side. This out. Set it over here. Okay. And there you can see our patterns. And let's see here. We're we'll going too much farther. We want to take and put a little bit of release compound in here. You could use cornstarch, flour, you could use just about anything. our sprue and I'll be back in a minute after I find another one. Alright, back. Just found a piece of solid that we're going to use. You generally want to have one larger than the other this way. That way we can pour into this one and go out, fill up, and it'll come up this one here. Don't you just love playing in the dirt? I would say if you're going to uh, do this process, uh, 
there's several recipes on YouTube here on how to make the sand. But you might want to keep it in a plastic bucket and keep a lid on it. On this uh, side here, we don't have to go all the way to the top. Put that one a little too close to the side. 